to go over some information that she had and some prices. Um, so you met and with I've Commissioner got Solomon? The two commissioners met with the landscaper, Carol Jowdy? She happened to come I came in early, so. because of the meeting schedule for and why was the other I, meeting. Why was I not informed? How do you have a meeting in non-public and a commissioner that is was, not informed? That was not a non-public meeting. I, the landscaper called me. She wanted to go over some figures that I will be presenting to you, and they were not firm, and so we don't have them. So there's nothing to give you right now. I was to meet with her at, at her request. Um, but I think I should be notified. This is a board. Why does she have to meet with you only? So it was, was strictly this, to go over was, some points. This was a non-public meeting? No, it was not. It wasn't a meeting. It was strictly she and but I. But you said you attended two meetings. That is what I you attended said. two meetings, that's right. One was So her what how do you call it then? You meet with her, what do you call it? A public meeting? No, because I didn't it was call not posted. It, I didn't call it a public meeting. But why didn't I get an email, a phone call? Why was I not notified? I need to be notified. She, it's going about like two hundred and twenty five thousand dollars. There it were is no a contract. She happened to, to hear. She did not happen to be here. There were no decisions made. There was just some points that she wanted to go across. Then I and should as be far notified. As, as I'm a commissioner here. I need to know okay. what's going on. All the meetings, non-public or public, what's going on on the complex, I need to be notified. If this is the way the chairman is conducting business here, I think it's wrong. Because I came in, I get only email for the non-public for the jail. I come mm -hmm. here, I see the two commissioners with Jer Carol Jowdy. So I don't know what secret meeting the two commissioners had. There was no secret meeting, and Commissioner Solomon came in early for the non-public meeting that you were informed about having. Okay, go ahead, Cindy. Tomorrow um, we will have a life safety building inspection. Um, it was... Uh, slated for Tuesday, and I did notify each of you um, by either email or phone that uh, the life safety inspection will occur tomorrow and then again on Tuesday. Um, it will be at least a full day um, of walking around. It's mm -hmm. it's not a breeze through meeting. Um, it, it, it will be um, a lengthy inspection. I do believe that um, <coughs> Adam Riley and um, um, Dave, Dave Seneca will be attending at least um, be there when we open at 9 o'clock, and then we'll go from there. It's, it is at 9? It's at 9 o'clock, yes. And, yes. And that necessarily, from what I read on the email, that necessarily postponed the residents' uh, walkthrough? It has postponed the resident walkthrough. We're going to start on Friday. Um, but again, it's um, it, 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 everything works out. And, and so um, the residents have and families have been notified. And the uh, recreation director and nursing have been working on, on, on um, making sure that the walkthroughs will occur for the residents. And it's, the area is no longer a hard hat area. No, and that the sign will be coming down Thank today. You. Yes. Um, education um, has occurred. Um, Yeoman's work for, um, in regard to Patty Kane, uh, our educational coordinator, she has had every every working member of the staff, excluding those that are out on FMLA, um, through the building as far as <coughs> life safety, how to respond in an emergency, fire, fire drills, as well as um, our phone system, um, nurse call system, hoist, use in tubs, and um, so we've, we've done a good job on that. Uh, ribbon cutting, uh, we uh, have a vocalist, um, Ashley Nickerson. Um, she's, I believe, uh, from the Moultonboro area, um, and she uh, lives um, also, her, that's where her family lives, I believe, and she's, um, she also lives in the, around the seacoast. She's coming up to meet with me tomorrow. Um, and I believe if anyone wants to attend, it's at 4.30. She's going to, um, uh, actually, she was referred to me um, by Kathy Gary, and apparently she has a wonderful voice. And Reverend Randy Dales um, from the All, All Saints Episcopal Church in Wolfboro will be um, joining us for the um, ceremony as well. And I didn't mention, but it's very important, um, Pat LaBranche, who's been with us for, I believe, 11 years, is retiring, and her, today is her last day of work. So we're having a little um, social at 2 o'clock in the mm -hmm. nursing home just to thank her for the, her years of dedicated service. Good. And Great. Any questions of uh, Sandy? Yeah. Uh, Sandy, can you tell us a little bit about the hurricane? Um, we had, uh, when we heard that there are, 
from the news that, that there was a potential. Um, we always get out our um, emergency preparedness um, um, plan and we revisit it. And obviously, I think when you, you spoke to me a few days ago, we talk about uh, what we have as far as food available, um, nursing, you know, what, what is our staffing situation. Um, took all of our furniture inside um, so that there wouldn't be any fl flying debris or, or issue there. And we kept close tabs on, on that. Um, uh, and uh, everyone fared well. Um, and I will also tell you from the, the being working all weekend in the new building, you wouldn't be, it's so tight and it's so, it was so quiet, you didn't even hear the wind blow. Um, but again, uh, residents did well. Um, you know, obviously we had a, a few little leaks that they dealt with, um, um, but um, everyone um, functioned well, staff functioned extremely well, and we were prepared. Power sailing? Um, we went to generator for a short period of time. I believe it was 11 o'clock, I think the um, generator went on, and it was a short-lived short situation. But in either, both buildings, the generator functioned well, so we had no problems. 11 in the morning or at night? No, in the morning. In the morning. And we're on generator just for a short period of time. I, Any, I just I'd like to say, um, <coughs> this is, and this is just a personal observation, um, I had to go in this past weekend to see my brother who's in a nursing home in New, in, uh, New York. And when I was there four months ago, it's a four, it's a six-story building. I was there four months ago. One of the two elevators for, for the use of the residence was out of order. When I got there the other day, it was still out of order. I am, I am so upset by the conditions that they allow nursing homes to function in New York and in, in relationship to what we do here. And I want to commend you on, on how well you keep track and, and make sure that things work smoothly in our nursing home. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, I got an email recently from somebody uh, who, uh, who has a client whose father needs to be in a nursing home locally. And they were asking me about, or she was asking me about our nursing home and I told her all the wonderful things that you and our nursing home staff does, and, uh, and told her that yes, though we do have a waiting list, their name should go on that. That name should go on the waiting list. Well, I, I do need to commend the staff for for all they do, and you know they they they're well educated, so they they know in in, in periods of of um, inclement weather, whether it be a tornado warning, warning or or um, hurricane or whatever. We do have emergency plans, and they're there for a reason, so that we, when there is a situation, we go directly to the plan and we implement it. And it's, you know, lately, I mean, it's become, it's, it's rope because it's done so frequently with the thought or that there may be a, a, a concern and we need to plan for that, that need. So. How do you plan about staffing? Like, this is a hurricane because they have to be here. Mm -hmm. but are they staying here? Or? <coughs> well, no, they're, they're not staying here. We never did pull in extra staff. But the concern is you look at what your staffing is. You know how what the distance is. Um, we had a problem on, on the Converse side where we had employees that couldn't get home. Um, one employee ended up staying. Um, she lived in the, maybe the Conway area. But every road that went to her home, she couldn't get home because it was closed. Um, but those are the things that you have to look at, not only what you have staff for, but then the issues of, okay, where do people live? And at what particular time may you have problems? If you, if, if the, you know where the distance is, people call in, is, are there other people that you know, need to be called? I would be called in, you know, so I'm sort of on a higher alert. I'm on, on uh, call 24 hours a day. Um, the director of nurses certainly um, was in constant contact, um, and we were both physically on the um, premises that day, just in case we were needed. So, and they did have uh, campus-wide. There was a meeting of all the maintenance people mm -hmm. in case there was any. There was a planning meeting in case there were any uh, issues that came up regarding the hurricane, and that was organized by Dave Myers. Okay, any further questions? I, I just have yeah. a comment. Commissioner Solomon 
um, your comment about New York nursing homes, it may be particularly the one your brother is in, but I wouldn't generalize that all nursing homes in New York are run poorly. I, I've had, uh, I, okay, I'm not going to argue that. I've had other experiences in nursing homes in New York. And, and I have as well, yeah. and, and not all of them are. Yeah. Unfortunately, apparently mine have all been negative. That's truly unfortunate. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sandy. Thank you. You got a question? Yeah, it's just about the uh, meeting of the landscaper. So you yeah. you had a you had scheduled to talk with a landscaper about some questions. She called me, wanted to meet with me. Sure. And that's why I met with her. And Dorothy came along because she just arrived I early. We, we, we were in the show. same room, and the, the meeting I had with the landscaper ran over. We cut it short because the other meeting. Had to start at 11 o'clock. Oh, okay. And then Asha came, just kind of came in and saw you two for together. The, for, okay. the, for the non-public session, which was posted, and commissioners were notified regarding the 11 o'clock meeting. <coughs> that, that was the jail meeting? Or what was it the, was regarding the jail, okay. correct. It was a non-public session and was posted. This meeting with the chairman and Commission Solomon was not posted. No, that's wait, public. Wait a minute, that's wait a minute. Was it, I was, it wasn't she, a meeting. I just came. I tend to come in early for meetings. I was in this morning at a quarter of, of eight. I come in early. I, I, I don't like to be rushed. So I was here early. I, I heard that, the, that he was up here, and I attended. That's all. And as, as far as, barriers going on. As far as being notified of meetings and reviewing your expense account, You've been to meetings that you were requested to attend, but uh, nobody else knew about them until which, I read your expense account. Which meetings are you talking about? Go look at your expense account. What expense account are you talking about? Your expense account where you attended a meeting in Wolfboro? The meeting I don't in want Wolfboro? to go. I don't want to go into it any further. Just no, go back no, I want to go in it because go, what go back are you and look at your me? expense account. And what what meeting in Wolfboro are you talking about? I don't know. About? I don't remember what it is. I know you had a meeting there. That you need to come up with the facts, let me see that. Because it's I only will. the meeting what they okay. sent me to. Okay, I will. They sent me to the meeting. So tell me precisely what you're talking about. I will. I'll go back to your expense Because account. the meeting, is it the one in Wolfboro, what all the state reps were there? Where they invited me, where everyone was invited? Well, I'll, I'll go over it Is with it you. the one about a local workshop from the local government center, what should come here and handed me the paper, that we have to go to the local workshop in Wolfboro? No, you need to tell me because I, I this, will. I this will. is getting ridiculous. Okay, it, it, you're right. This it is, is getting, getting ridiculous. ridiculous. But I will I'll prove to you by looking at your expenses. Yeah, account. yeah, you need to tell me that. Anyway. So I can have a look at your expenses. Kathy, you around now. Um, I received an email yesterday from uh, Arthur Grady, the uh, one of the teachers from Moultonboro okay. Academy. Remember, yep. they came last fall yes. for a tour, yep. um, and he was requesting September 12th, 13th, or 15th. And I responded that you know that we're completion of the nursing home, and there would be moving of the residents. So I asked him to give me other dates that perhaps the students would would come. So I just didn't know, um, you know, going forward, should we be letting the other school districts know again? And that like, would be good. Yes. Is it always uh, this time it, of year? No. It, it's just. Oh, it's really generally early. in the yeah. spring, but because in the spring they do all kinds of testing and that sort yeah. of thing. Last year they came in the fall, mm -hmm. um, and you know. Uh, what are you talking about? Students the students come for, come for a tour okay. of of. Um, you know, the jail, the nursing home, the administration building, they get a, t the farm. a, a yeah, the farm. the farm, they get a education of what county government is, oh, okay. they go down the registry of deeds, they go into dispatch, they, you know, it's been a traditional um, thing with the uh, high schools. Are they coming once a year? They gen they've they been trying to come once a year. And that um, is the Kingswood High School. What you're well, the, about. no, this was Moultonboro. Oh, okay. But Kingswood and Kennett both have come in the past. Um, so, okay. I could you, uh, looking at my ca my personal calendar, uh huh, uh, 
could you see if they could put it off until October? Well, that's what, what my suggestion was going to be, October, and for, for the three of you. Generally, the commissioners um, meet with them.